we can talk a little bit more about DNA technologies and what they're good for. We're going to look at cDNA cloning. That's cloning of these copy DNAs that we can make out of messenger RNAs using reverse transcriptase. We're going to look at genomic cloning. Now that's cloning of chunks of chromosomal DNA, usually a good deal larger than a cDNA, which after all is just a, essentially the size of an mRNA, right? We're going to look at something called PCR or polymerase chain reaction. These are major tools in, the, in our toolkit for doing gene structure uh, studies, regulation studies, and gene evolution studies. We'll talk about how DNA is sequenced, and I'll mention at that time genome projects and how it connects. We'll talk about something called microarrays, which allows a genomic approach to studying genes, gene structure, gene activity, because it allows us to screen, it says multiple genes at once here. In fact, almost the whole genome can be screened at once and in a very small space, and I'll try to drive that home when I show it to you. I don't know that we'll get a chance to look at how sequence databases are being used, but if you've heard the term bioinformatics or bioinformatics revolution, then you have some notion of what I'm talking about. If you start accumulating large amounts of DNA sequence data, it's going to be necessary to store the data, retrieve the data, and make comparisons with the data. And we have wonderful DNA sequence databases to house our sequences, compare any new sequence with anything that's out there in the database and decide if you have something brand new or if you have a DNA sequence that, is re that resembles an already existing sequence and so on. We may have a chance to talk about the promise of gene therapy beyond this point, but clearly if we can engineer a healthy version of a gene to take the place of a mutant version of a gene, say for insulin or for growth hormone or for any molecule that is a problem in an individual that carries a mutation, theoretically it might be possible to cure a genetic disease, and that involves genetically engineering cells to produce what you want.